Basingstoke Town FC. A club born 127 years ago, when Alderworth United merged with Basingstoke Albion. Squads were built. Legends were carved. Fans gathered in support. Camrose was built, filled, and abandoned. I actually live right next to the ground, so I mean, it was devastating for me. Do you know what? We were lucky to survive it, and that's the honest truth, and that's not over dramatising what was um, a, a, a difficult period. But their fight continues. Big thing here. To stay in the fucking bed. Got away, but he curls it brilliantly. After a heartbreaking playoff loss last season, the club have bounced back incredibly. A consistent display of wind has risen them to the top of the table, and now they're looking for automatic promotion. And I know what you're capable of. As individuals, as a unit, and my God, as a you are one special club. But in a league where only one team can go up. So Walton are trying to slow the game down, and Billy Upton's got himself in a bit of bother. The chase is on. The squad trains on Thursday night, 48 hours before they face second place Walton and Hersham FC. Both teams battle for first place and Walton have piled on the pressure. Two consecutive promotions see Walton as the favourites and record-breaking striker Eddie Simon is helping their case. Now, if you think Erling Haaland is the most informed striker in English football, then think again, because right now, Eddie Simon of Walton and Hersham FC, who play their football in the Ithmian South Central Division, he's become the first player in the history of England's top eight divisions to score a hat-trick in four consecutive matches. 45 seconds left. Yeah. Amazing Stoke travel away with only one point separating the two sides. Hello and welcome to Basingstoke Town Live. My name is Nick Wilson and you know exactly where I am this afternoon. How on earth do you stop Eddie Simon? Four hat-tricks in a row, 21 goals in his last 11 league games. It's almost beyond belief. Basingstoke have already suffered a blow in their build-up. Michael Atkinson was due to start. He'd been ruled out due to an injury in the warm-up. It is a big, big occasion. And we are a few minutes away. All to come into the game on 13 straight wins. Basic Stoke, of course, have 15 straight wins until last weekend. As Basic Stoke Town and Walton and Hershel come out onto the pitch for the biggest game remaining in the regular season. Johnson Schuster can't stop the cross. It's a good ball in, and it's going to be knocked down into a six yard box and into the net. And Walton have taken the lead. And you can guess who it is. It's yet another goal by Eddie Simon. Floats it again, far post, decent ball, that's a dangerous one, it's headed down and into the net! And it's Mitchell Goff who's dropped the lead before half-time, and Basic Stoke couldn't hold out. And in stoppage time here, Walton have put himself in a tremendous position. Fuck it. 
Yeah, Tom can fucking get behind each other. Hey, eh? we need to fucking wake up and smell the coffee jars. Hey, eh? right, boys. Big thing here is you stay in the fucking game. You remain patient. You stay in the fucking game. Okay? The difficulty now. Let's talk about. It. We've gone two 0 down. They will make mistakes. You've shown that without putting any real pressure on them. And I, personally, I thought the game plan was fucking working. I thought it was working. Okay, but now we need to change it, okay? So now we've got to find a different way to win. It doesn't necessarily mean in possession, but it means that every time they come forward, we're fucking there. We need to be more aggressive. We've got fucking stupid, not naive. I've just lost the fucking discipline with the reps. That's on me, that's shit. If I let a fucking big game rise my tempers, so I don't expect the same. <coughs> Now it's about turning up a little bit. Alright. Gaffer's covered everything. So my toy little bit here is going to be such a fucking belief. Have that belief. Everything that Gaffer just said, have the belief that you can go out there and do that. I know you can do it. Boards, Gaffer, the rest of the time, you can do it. We're disappointed. We're annoyed. We're frustrated. We can see that a, a shit time you can see. But there are things that have to have some fucking belief about us now. And when we go out there and perform like this, we're going to be better off the side of the table. Okay? And the belief is there in the one v one You believe there in the ten times you believe there to take on a man of people. Believe that's what you have. Believe that's what you have. Such a good side. Have that belief that you put yourself in this position. I'm telling you now, go out and fucking enjoy yourself. It's a big crowd. There's lots of stake. Fucking enjoy it. Have that belief. Go out there and put everything in. At the end of this 45, you put everything in. You come back home. I guarantee you. Right, boys. Let's go out and fucking enjoy yourself. 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 Let's go what an occasion now, 45 minutes, to come back in here with a point or a win. That's the task at hand, that's the challenge. The boys in this change room are fucking capable. The boys out there on the squad are capable. Let's fucking show them. Come on, Lee. Come on, come on. Ben Cook touches it on, this is Reed Clark, Reed again, needs to get a shot away, Reed curls it brilliantly, and Basic Stroke got one back, and now things get very interesting, the fans mass behind that goal. It's a Walton are trying to slow the game down, and Billy Upton's got himself in a bit of bother, trying to get the ball off one of the Walton players who are trying to stop Basic Stroke restarting it, yellow cards will be coming out here. Kelly to right side of the box, hits it early across Stradley and in off the post. And it's 3-1, what a good finish for the tight handle. And Walter may just have done enough now. The referee is going to give Billy up to the second yellow card here for his complaints. And now he's being sent off, amazing start of heads have gone. That's really, really poor from up to on a yellow card. Back onto his right foot into the box now, and this is Simon. Good challenge from Scott Arms. Oh, and a penalty's given. Short run up, he sends it down the middle, and it is for and Mills celebrates in front of the home fans. Golden opportunity for Prattley Jones making the run in from the far post. It goes far post again now, and it's a tap in, and it is 5 1 to Walton. It's Jordan Abigail. The flare's been thrown onto the pitch. We're going to have to stop the game once the referee sees it. He has seen it now. Comes a fan to recover that flare from the Basingstoke end. I can't fault anyone's effort, but in big moments we've had opportunities to do a little bit more during the game, so there is a level of regret there. Okay? But let me get one thing clear that reaction out there. Is that they've won the league. Family coming on. Kids coming on. Posing for photographs. Even their Twitter before the game. This is the title we signed. Is it? Last time I checked, we were two points behind. It. So what I need from you now is to dust yourself down. So now it's about character. Okay? Now it's about <coughs> digging in and showing your teeth and showing what this club is made of. Because I guarantee you, they're going to Guernsey on Saturday. You remember coming back from Guernsey. I was fucked for two days. I didn't play. Then they've got to go and play Thatcher on the last game of the season. Where all my mates at. They won't fucking shirk it. They'll put a shift in. So if you go away from this game 
thinking anything other than the title race is still fucking on, have a word with it. Because I'll note it and I'll go, he's not ready to play. Because I'm here for a fucking fight. Two points away from fucking winning the title. They drop a point, we're in. We've seen it. And if they win the next four games, fair fucking play. But if they don't, we are there. The hunted are now the fucking hunters. Basing Stoker pushed down into the playoff positions with just four games left to play. It's probably me, like, I, I shouldn't have done what I'd done, like, it's my own fault, but it was... I feel like it was a catalogue of like, errors. It was, like, I didn't think it was a foul start, I was if it was. And the free kick was in a different place than where it was, the ball was moving, and I just couldn't. So I'm like, 2 1, we're the better team, and we could go on to draw, win, or whatever. But 3 1, it just killed it. We were talking to each other, you know, not harshly, but really honestly, saying, like, you're not doing your job, you know, you've not made the right decision there, we're doing this wrong, we're doing that wrong. Brad set is still so high by scoring so many goals and being so effective in forward positions that as soon as he doesn't do it for a couple of weeks, everyone's like, oh, he's you know, not doing well enough. But in those situations, yeah, you just get around each other, you say that you believe in each other. You know, they were the better team. They, they probably did deserve to win. I just think if things have gone our way a bit more, Akko not getting injured in the warm-up, Dunny not having to come off injured during the game, obviously a couple of refereeing decisions, it could have gone a different way. But... Like I say, we just have to take it and um, use it now as fuel. We would like, I mean, the ideal situation is that we get to a point where it's last game of the season, we've still got something to fight for, and we, we win it. Hello and welcome to Basic Stoke Town Live. My name is Nick Wilson, and we're back at home today for the first of two games over Easter. Basingstoke hosting Southall this afternoon and the players just heading out onto the pitch. Basingstoke Town given a big boost in the news that skipper Simon Dunn has recovered from the injury suffered last weekend. He starts for Basingstoke Town while Billy Upton plays his suspension not kicking in until Monday. It's a youthful bench for Basingstoke. Ben Mason returns alongside DeAndre Brown and the ever dangerous Brody Peart. 17 year old Brody Peart is an academy graduate who's forced his way into contention for a starting spot. We're, we're ready for it, like, we're ready to go up, we deserve it, the fans deserve it, like, the support the support we get down here is just remarkable, like, especially me, like, I've grown up here, like, I was, I was one of the fans behind a goal, shouting abuse to the keeper and stuff like that, but, yeah, we deserve it, the fans deserve it. Brody is um, an exceptional case in that when we first brought him through, when he was, I think, 16 years old, he made his debut, the original plan was to, to try and bleed him in slowly and and give him cup games and the occasional appearance off the bench. And this season it's really clicked for him, you know. He's, um, he's always been uh, aggressive, he's always known where the goal is, but the, the difference he's made this year in terms of being that little bit more front-footed, that little bit more wily. Um, and I think, he, I think the big thing is he believes in himself now because he's, he's worked so hard to be in the position he is, but there's a lot more to come from that kid. I just have to be ready as soon as I come on, like, if I get the opportunity to produce, like, and I got that opportunity to start the other week, scoring a hat trick, but good feeling. You've had it hard the last few weeks. Some of the opinions of some supporters, keyboard warriors, doubting you, doubting your talents, doubting your capabilities. I assure you they are both in my life. Standing behind me now are people that have supported us both home and away. If you look at their fucking eyes, they believe in you. They believe in what you're capable of. They've also supported you through thick and thin. At that moment we spoke about last week when we were at fucking the arsehole of Winchester surviving for our lives, okay? We do it for each other, but we also do it for people like this, okay? And this is a moment where I'm trying to stand this lot in glory. This is to show you that these guys fucking support everything you've done and everything you'll continue to do. So in every inch that we can today, make the most of this opportunity. Because you win today, you go top. You win, you put pressure on. And then the last three games, we go to fucking war and see what we can do. But the big thing here is belief. If you don't believe in yourselves, no one else will. And I know what you're capable of. As individuals, as a unit, and my God as a collective. 
You are one special fucking group. A special group that I have loved working with yeah, yeah, yeah. and we are four yeah. games away from fucking reaching the pinnacle. Yeah. Okay, there are more twists in this tale. make sure we're right on the right side, okay? Best of luck, enjoy the game. This weekend's defeat certainly a damaging one. Not yet terminal though for Basic Stoke. Playing 24 hours for Wolves and an opportunity for Basic Stoke to go top of the league for at least a day. And he bends it across, Hodges arriving 10 yards out, he's put it wide, huge chance for Basingstoke. But they need that goal, it's George Reid this time, back towards the corner of the box now, he'll fly to in, and it's another Southall head in the way. He delivers it high to the far post, and the header from Brown, it's another one off target. Basingstoke have now got just under 20 minutes to find the winner. Dan Brownlee very much going for it, it seems. Brad Wilson, Sam Argent, and Paul Hodges off. Brody Pitt, DeAndre Brown, and Stefan Brown all coming off. Upton lifts it forward. Pitt at the target. Oh, no. Nolan underneath it. He's struggling. Pitt's going to get there. Pitt's going to hit it early. And it's rolling towards the goal and off the post. And Brody Pitt's done it! What a substitution from Dan Brown. The basic stone has scored in the 82nd minute. And it's Brody Pitt taking advantage of the technicians to roll the ball in off the far post. It was agonizing, it seemed to take forever. Austin Calvin eventually comes over the line and it's made to run town one, South of Hill. That's fucking proper. Whatever this result means, long fucking live its memory. Because that is a huge lesson in staying patient, in staying resolute, in believing yourself. I told you before the game, and this isn't me being fucking mystic, Nick. I told you the, hub, the subs are going to be important, and my God, do they end up in? All right. To a man, I'm really fucking proud of you. It's now pressure, fucking water. Do I expect him to go and beat Guernsey? Absolutely. But that's all we can do. We can just keep the pressure on, keep doing what we're doing, and Jesus Christ, I appreciate you, young fucking bastards, who think you're invincible and going out in London and Shoreditch or wherever you fucking pricks go. Be fucking sensible, okay? That's a really difficult game, but the fact is it's going to be equally difficult, okay? So look after your bodies, relax, recover, and fuck me, we go again. Meanwhile, in Guernsey, Walton are dealt a blow. We have a mouth watering end to the season. It's not the result the Swans wanted in Guernsey today. Teams are now level on points, only separated by five goals. Next up, Basingstoke travel to local rival Statcham. Because all of a sudden, it's made it really fucking interesting. Really fucking interesting. But the result on Sunday only meant something because of your work on the Saturday. And you were brilliant Saturday, by the way. It was a fr fuck off <laughs> Friday. <laughs> you fucking know what I mean. Uh, you then go into Sunday and we're all going, well, fucking, of course they're going to fucking win, of course they're going to score, it gets a five minutes left, of course they're going to score. And then Aaron's having a fucking hissy fit around Hartley going, they're fucking drawn, they're drawn. It was great, you know? We're fucking well back in it. But today is another one of those moments. We have three more of those moments. But just remember, the hard yards you did on Saturday earned the right to be in the position that we are now. Level on points, level on games, level on wins, level on draws, level on losses, everything. The only difference now is a goal difference. Now I appreciate it's kind of the elephant in the room at the minute because it does work as an extra point. You focus on results and performances. Don't worry about the goals. I'll worry about the goals. If I have to throw kitchen sinks at it at a timely manner that I think is appropriate, I'll do that. But don't get clutchy thinking, oh, we've got to go and score fucking four today, or we've got to go and score six. That's not it. All you've got to do, worry about the performance and the result will come with it. If I want to roll dice across the three games, then that's on fucking me. Okay, that's my job. Let's play like fucking champions, okay? Shoulders fucking back, rise up, work your fucking knots up. When we have to be effective, we'll be effective. DeAndre Brown will be your captain today. Some fantastic well over the course of that couple of games. So keep, keep that going. Let's go to fucking war, boys. Let's go. Come on, boys. Towards the byline, left 
So she pulls it back and that's really brave goalkeeping, falling upon it in the six yard box as Hodges closed in, looking for a tap in there. Oh, oh, it's, it's been me! Hey, and it's him! It's Eddie Who Simon! Of course! That's my usual! Put the box away from one chance, you can shoot here, he's free, he hits it, what a brilliant block that is. Who's attacking it? And Eddie's there, and he goes for it! Yes! Oh, it's a ridiculous goal! In onto the right foot, it's from the edge of the box, it's Cook, and it's just oh. wide. Keep it palms here! Eddie! 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 favoured side to be on. It's all a bit messy in the box. Winchcombe manages to pull it across. It goes right through and in the end, Fisher falls on it in the six yard area. He's been oh, found. Lovely pick out. Millsy. Low. Oh, 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 Simon again. <laughs> Wilson up to the edge of the box now. Can he finish out? Comes to goal. But Wilson shoots and he does finish. Brilliantly done. The keeper got a touch with his foot. But Brad Wilson has got his 30th goal. Gilbert fires it across goal, Eddie Simon, it's five! <laughs> it's five for the Swans, it's five for Eddie! Basing Stoke have done all they can as tensions rise high at full time. Both teams win, but Basing Stoke fall further behind on goal difference. Hello and welcome to Basingstoke Town Live. My name is Nick Wilson and we're almost ready for the final regular game of the season. Basingstoke Town will be walking out to take on South Park Rygate FC in just a matter of moments at a packed Winklebury football complex. Online ticket sales went to 1,200 before uh, the gates opened today. So we're gonna have a huge attendance here, potentially the biggest in the league and it could very well be a sellout by this point. Amazing Stoke have responded really well to what could have been a harrowing and gut-wrenching defeat really against Walton a few weeks ago. Three wins out of three since then. They've done everything they can to take it to the final day. The team's of course starting level on points, although the uh, difference in goal difference favours Walton heavily enough. 90 minutes of league football remains. Will it be Walton? Will it be Amazing Stoke to win the league? Events over at Thatcher will have just as much impact as those here this afternoon. He might have won it back, no foul given. Reed into the box on the left hand side, just Wilson to help him out for now. He goes back towards the edge of the box, DeAndre Brown. DeAndre Brown's on side, left side of the box, oh, that's 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 a chance for Wilson, didn't catch it cleanly at all on the left hook and it looked like he still had enough to go in. He gets into the box, might be pulled back instead, into the box there goes, there's an opportunity as Armstrong goes down, another chance and it's shot into the roof of the net. South Park have scored, and Basing Stoke so open at the back, it's like they weren't quite ready for that counter and they've gone behind in the 30th minute. Reed gets it, can he find a telling cross? Five to aim four in the box, goes on his right foot towards the byline into the area now and he's tripped and that's a penalty to Basing Stoke. Final minute of normal time in the first half. George Reed wins the penalty, and Basic Stoke will have the best chance they could ask for to get themselves back on level terms. Brad steps up, and it's in. George Reed wins the penalty. Brad Wilson scores it, and Basic Stoke a level up points for Walton Hershey at the top of the league once again. It's even at half time in both games. Basic Stoke need to score another in their game and hope that Walton don't take the lead at Thatcham. Fucking clear your lines, boys. From end level throws and from the corners, we're playing ball down corners and you've got fucking clear your lines. They're a big set fit group of lads. They are not going to have the fitness to live with you if you move the ball fucking quickly and effectively into good areas. They're not going to live with you. 
So you need to move the ball quickly. It's been from our own bad play, the reason they've got in. It's water score still 0-0. Yeah. Yeah. Water score still 0-0. Okay? You're fucking back in the game. It's a great time to fucking score. They haven't got a lot left. Okay? You know fully well, and I said, look, we concentrate on our stuff, but it's important to know. In that change room, right now, in this moment, they are fucking panicking. Yeah. They are panicking, because they're going, fuck. If fucking Basingstoke score, we lose the lead. We've only got 45 minutes. We're the fucking hunters. We go out there, or we put them to the fucking sword, because you know we're better than them. If you do everything that you are brilliant at, by the way, <laughs> fucking brilliant at, if you do what you're best at, I'm not asking you to reinvent the wheel, I'm not asking you to tactically shift anything, move the ball quick, get it out wide, let really let Brad have a go. Get Hodgie in the heart, on the heart turn and get him, get him running. Uh, Scotty, can you do the dive into, into really early? Billy, can you do the same? Can we move the ball into fucking areas that we know we're massively effective? If you do that, you win the game. And if you do the, if you win the game, as the same alpha just gone, you win the league. You win the fucking league, boys. Not the game, not three points, not the consolation cup, the league. We can only control what we control in here, but what we've done out there is not good enough. The second half, if you improve, the fact we're still in the game is a minor <coughs> miracle. You've been given a chance. Someone's fucking looking down at you. You've got a chance. Use it, make the most of it. Second half, make sure we come in here in 45 minutes knowing we've done our side of the park. Okay? Amazing Stoke on level terms as George Reeve was brought down in the box on the stroke of half time and Brad Wilson put away his 33rd goal of the season. 11 steps up. Oh, it's a goal. It sounds like Thatcham have scored. It sounds like Thatcham have got a goal against Walton and Hersham. And as it stands, Basic Stoke at the top of the league at the start of the second half. Here. Start of the kickoff, but that news has got through to the fans who are now losing their minds behind the goal. Four minutes into the second half, and Basic Stoke had a second penalty. Hodges going down the left side of the box, and it's a tangle of legs, really. Both players went down, referee gave the Basic Stoke the decision, and they have a penalty and a chance to take a lead. Brad Wilson again, that short run up. And he sends it in! Could it be? Could it be? Amazing squad town, 2 1 up now. Walton needs to score twice to peg them back. But here's Eddie now. Eddie. And he has Eddie, Jordan in the middle. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Jordan! Eddie. It's in! It's in! It's in! Get the equaliser! Get the ones! Jordan Adiemi has got Walton back on level terms. It's 1 1 now at Satcham. <laughs> got to win the first ball. Got to win it here. Go! It's in! It's in! Yes! It's on your own! It's been took off! And listen to that, the outpour of emotion! About time! Morton and Hirsch have taken the lead away at Satchel. That Satchel goal has woken them up. They're 2 1 up and stands there back on top of the league now. Basingstock need a goal from Satchel while remaining in front here. It's gone very quiet all of a sudden behind that goal to my right. Right, boys. Walton have gone ahead. Hope is all but lost in Basingstoke. Right on Saturday. It's pretty simple, like. Back into Basie again, he comes out with his goal, plays it to the left-hand side for Drinkwater to step forward. Amazing Stoke sitting off. Bedfront have a fourth at home to 
Guernsey, but still reliant on results elsewhere. DeAndre Brown has got it, and I think there may well have been a touch of gold. And Jack Miller goes absolutely mental, and so does the rest of the crowd. We're heading towards stop and time at Thatcher. We will get confirmation of that moment. But that was Chairman Jack Miller screaming that they may well have heard that Japan and stop and time scored. It's 2 2, and they can start at the top of the league. Oh, 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 Time here into the box it goes. Corner and Brody Pitt will volley that away. And the referee puts the whistle to his legs. And then drops out of the corner. There are fans on the pit. We saw Walton and Hirsch have their title celebration three weeks ago. It's our turn now. Plays and Stoke have won the B. And all the play expect football next season. Three one victory here is enough.